using the data showing student marks construct a relative frequency distribution table remember our last illustration where we had student 30 students in a test and we had um, the marks so we are going to use that illustration to construct a relative frequency distribution table so in that table remember we had classes uh, 5 to 10 um, 10 to 15 was it 15 yeah 10 to 15 then 15 to 20 then 20 to 25 to 30 30 to 35 35 to 40 then 40 to 45 these were the classes the classes then the frequencies that is the number of students the number of students we had here the number of students who scored 5 to 10 marks 3, 4, 5 3, 4, This was our last illustration where we prepared a frequency distribution table but you're saying that there are other forms of frequency distribution table so this gave us a total of 30 the frequency so under the relative under the relative the relative frequency distribution table we're saying that the frequencies are expressed as percentage values percentage values so that uh, the first value here to convert these three as a percentage value of the total we will simply divide 3 over 30 this total times 100 that will give us the percentage the next one 4 divided by 30 times 100 5 divided by 30 times 100. 5 divided by 30 times 100. 5 divided by 30 times 100. 3 divided by 30 times 100. 3 divided by 30 times 100. 2 divided by 30 times 100. If what we have done is to convert the frequencies frequencies as percentage values of this total so we take the calculator as you take yours we do the first one the first one here 3 divided by 30 times 100 3 divide 30 times 100 is 10 percent 10 percent 4 divide 30 times 100, 13 percent. 5 divide 30 times 100, this is uh, 16 to round it off to the nearest. Uh, digit is 17 percent 17 percent 17 percent 10 percent 10 percent 2 divide by 100 
divide by 30 times 100 this is uh, 6 percent 6 percent so 10 plus 13 plus 17 plus 17 plus 17 plus 10 plus 10 plus 6 this is equal to 100 percent 100 percent so this is a relative frequency distribution table a relative frequency distribution table and we have used the we have used the last illustration to compute this relative frequency distribution table showing marks of students showing marks of students so these are percentage relative frequencies percentage relative frequency so this is how to do it so this is a relative relative frequency distribution table showing max of students showing max of students relative frequency distribution table so that is how to compute a relative frequency distribution table <laughs>